this off the painting with some water and because these are the interactive acrylics that's going to keep that surface nice and active for me meaning that I can blend one colour into another fairly readily and I don't know how well it's showing up on camera but what I'm doing now is that's allowing me to just very gently darken certain areas where I've put down just the, the single light colour so it's you know it's not much of a change in terms of tone just yet I can probably continue this sort of second level of tone just down onto the shoulders and top of the chest that's showing here. We'll put a little bit here under the chin too. Okay, so I've still got a reasonable amount of that first colour on the palette and obviously I've darkened that slightly with the alizarin. I'm now going to add a little bit more and you can see just the slightest touch of that colour really does make quite a difference to the overall shade. So you need to use it fairly sparingly in this application. So once again, I'm just going to gently mist the painting with some water. And now we can go just a touch darker. So for example, the left hand side of the forehead. Is a bit darker than the right hand side. And the far right side is a little bit darker than the center. Got a little area of subtle shadow here at the top of the nose. There's some shadow on the left of the nose here. And a little to the left above the eye. And there's even a little bit under the eye as well. And then underneath the cheek on the left. Under this eye as well, a little bit above the left hand side of the eye to our right, under this cheek as well. This left hand side of the bottom of the nose is relatively darker than the other, but there is a bit of shadow under the right hand edge. This side of the upper lip is a little darker, there's a bit of shadow there, the chin has a little bit of shadow on it and just underneath the bottom lip as well it gets a little bit darker there too. And then under here And then things are darker than I've got them so far, down here as well. And let's put in just the smallest indication of an ear at the bottom of an earlobe there on the right. And we'll do the same here. 
on the left as well. Okay, so we're starting to get a little bit of modeling in, but we need some slightly stronger shadows and we need to go just a little bit more purpley blue as well. All right, so to do that, still still going with this original patch of paint. I mean, obviously I, I've been topping it up in, in some senses with you know, the colors I've added, but nevertheless, it's still the same area of the palette. Let's add a little of the Silurian blue. That's a little bit more. And a bit more there as well. Let's make sure that's fairly thoroughly mixed. And I think that's going to be hopefully a good starting point. So once again, just keep the surface of the painting from drying out. And then again, we're going to look and see where the, the subtle shadows are. So there's a touch up here under the hairline. Nothing very much, but it's definitely there. This left side as well. And then the shadow here on the left side of the nose is bluer than I have it. So this tone I have at the moment is you know, going to help push things in the right direction. And working, you know, wet in, in wet like this, obviously I'm getting a lot of soft edges. And at this stage of the painting, you know, that, that's that's good. Um, in essence, you know, you're not only getting some nice blending going on, but you're not sort of committing yourself too irreversibly either to any kind of deci decisions you make in terms of tone or shape and so forth so so as before just moving around the entire face picking out those areas where things are darker than I currently have them not being overly concerned about getting the color exactly right tone is in my opinion you know more important to establish that and get that reasonably correct um, and then you can always adjust the color a little bit if you need to okay let's go just a little bit darker again so let's grab some of the Silurian blue Some of the alizarin and mix that fairly thoroughly into that patch of color that I have already. Now that's considerably darker than anything I've put onto the painting so far so we may end up having to add a little bit of the white to that but we'll see how it goes. Again just a mist still keeping the edges soft for the moment and then what I'm doing is I'm really squinting at my reference and I, I want to pick out the darkest shadows. And so it's probably going a little bit too dark, but nevertheless, I've got to establish a sense of three dimensions. So I've got some shadow there on the left of the nose. Some there above the eye. The left side of the cheek there that's perhaps gone on a little bit heavy but we'll, we'll live with it for the moment just a touch there on the left side of the forehead certainly darker under the chin here compared to what i currently have darker there on the shoulders as well now things are looking you know rather on the purple side at the moment but I'll, what I'm going to do is I think that's probably enough for the moment in terms of the face I'm now going to tackle the hair and just block that in 